Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. They're back from their brumation. Macrovipera tyrannica. One male, two females. Hopefully they will make nice and produce some eggs. That up temporary. In case you don't notice, there's a very nice, very friendly black and white spitter, Naya Samonensis, Siamensis. Yeah, Siamensis. There, you know, you got Sumatrata, you got Samarensis, and Siamensis, and you know just like whatever they're all spitters and they're all uh, pretty evil so he's a pretty good natured guy these two samar cobras are not so nice but any rate back to our friendly neighborhood macrovipera they've been adults i've had them since 2005 uh, my good friend Don at the Kadokton Zoo had a facility where he could cool them down. They've been brought back up gradually uh, to, in the 70 degree zone. And now I'm going to put them, all three of them in this cage and hopefully everybody makes nice and makes some babies. This is a girl. Here you go. Go ahead. I, I know you don't want to go in there, but do it for me anyway. Oh, and they blend so well with the substrate. Now these are, you know, arid snakes from Uzbekistan. You know, the mountainous area is pretty dry there. So they're okay on this uh, uh, dry substrate. So that's one of three. Let me go get uh, the next uh, guy. I don't think she's gonna come out and try to escape. Well, you'll know if she does. Yeah. <laughs> now she doesn't look for worse the wear, but this one definitely shows signs of of uh, fat loss because I fed them quite well here. Um, loss of fat and probably some dehydration even though they were brumated with, wa uh, with water. But I think this is the girl. Hello, how are you doing? Hi. Are you the boy? He looks a little, uh, little dehydrated. Um, so we will uh, press our luck and uh, let's see if he wants a little drink. stone-faced. Okay, I'm going to close that and open this because I would rather this one goes in. I think that's the girl. Oh yeah, she's got the lumpy lump. Maybe the Maybe that's metastatic cancer, I don't know. Okay, let me go get number three.
water in it. Let's see if I can get him to drink. I think they really dislike the sound of that cake being ripped off. It really irritates a lot of the snakes that are in here, but you know, I'm not driving for three hours and have one of these get loose in the vehicle or any of the venomous snakes get loose in the vehicle. I know you're cranky, huh? You're the boy. Does that bother you? Does that bother you? Watch your hand there. That okay, one's okay, watching yep, you. Okay, I see it. Thanks. Lori's my uh, my safety supervisor. If I lose track of what's going on, hey boy, want some water or not? Who's your tongue flicking? Anybody has uh, bred these in the United States. We brought a boatload of them in, maybe 50 animals back in 2005, and uh, I lost I lost two. One sort of tragically, uh, it got itself wedged behind the light, and the light overheated him and killed him and. Uh, I found them sort of oozing down the back of the uh, the cage, um, but uh, no one has uh, bred these, as far as I know. There's a few in zoos. Uh, Jim and Kristen have a few at the uh, Kentucky Reptile Zoo, and. Uh, uh, I'm hoping to increase the numbers with captive borns. These are really, really... Oh, you're stiff because you're cold, boy, huh? Just, just nobody bite each other. You'll warm up. We've got water. So hopefully the boy will come around. Nor, uh, you know, I used to keep these together, but they would bite each other and usually on the head and the male in that second female that I put in the one that sort of was slow and has the lump um, they're each missing an eye on the opposite side because they killed each other's eye uh, the other one I I got from a guy who knew I liked them and was looking for them and he sold it back to me so Maybe once he warms up and has a drink, and tomorrow I'll uh, I'll try feeding them uh, without uh, anybody killing one another and get something in their uh, digestive tract. It's really warm in there. Um, if I could find my heat gun, which I set down somewhere. I just oh, gave it to you. <laughs> it's over here. Uh, it's 84 on the hot spot, and over there it's 72. So they've got a bit of a gradient, so they can either be warm or be cool, uh, and uh, have a drink of water, and hopefully, you know, come out of brumation without any issues. Because, you know, brumation is a tricky thing. Not done properly, uh, you can lose one or more or all the animals. Uh, uh, so we'll hold our breath. I think that one female looks the best. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully they, they go ahead about uh, breeding. No, I'm not trying to piss you off. I look at the female backing up like he means business. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna shut those lights out so they sort of calm down.
Not bad. I can do it on my phone. <laughs> you do love your toys. Well, it's useful. Uh, and actually, this I can go off to uh, watch the magic of my fingers and technology. Uh, I can make the lights go out. Uh, What's really bad is when they go off on their normal timer and uh, you have you have a large venomous snake in your hand and Mrs. Viper Keeper is in here helping and all of a sudden this happens. <laughs> this is not good. No. We've experienced this because they automatically go off at a certain time and on at a certain time. But uh, uh, sometimes we lose track of time because... Uh, you know, we're busy up until the lights go off typically, and, uh, uh, you know, then we uh, we call it quits, unless it's a special case like this. I brought back a whole bunch of animals, and uh, uh, I want to get them situated if I can, um, because we're very limited on space uh, and what we, can, what we can keep in certain rooms and stuff. Uh, makes a uh, quite a chess game of moving animals around and uh, and such. So uh, with that, uh, we'll move on to the next set of animals we've got to relocate. Okay, now we have water. This is my third Naya annulata. He too was a, a big pussycat, and now he's just big. I don't know if he's a pussycat or not anymore, because he was on breeding loan to Catoctin, and uh, he did his job. The, the female, who was much larger, uh, produced like 25 or 30 eggs. Unfortunately, they weren't good. Uh, and really unfortunately, the mother uh, died the next day after producing all those eggs. Uh, um, so, uh, since there's no female there, uh, there's no reason for him to be there. So, he came home. Hey bud, you're a little cold right now, huh? Well, let me, uh, let me put you over there and get you warmed up, huh? Huh? What? Here, go visit the bitch. See how she likes it. Oh, <laughs> he's big. I'm getting the hell out of the way from that. What the hell is that? Come on. Come on. I would say she won't bite you, but I can't be certain of that. But he is massive. And she's tasting him, he's tasting her. Oops, he's going defensive all of a sudden. Look at him stick me with his sticker. Why, we don't like each other right off the bat? I may have to pull him out and put him in the, uh, in the other cage. Well, everybody's just giving dirty looks right now.
I know, dude. You had a very nice, cozy uh, home there by yourself. Uh, but that's the brakes. Well, here's the other male. You know, I think I'm going to put him in a separate cage. Temporarily, my breeding pair of uh, Papu and Taipans are going in here. Um, this is uh, certainly one of the more difficult uh, uh, set of characters to deal with. Papu and Taipans envenomate 100% of the time, and there's no mistakes allowed. Uh, they're lightning fast and very, very nervous and twitchy snakes. Um, first, I'm going to do the female, who I'm most familiar with, because I've had her uh, under my care the longest. I sent the male off uh, to my friend Don at the Kadokton Zoo to play with for a while, and then when they're old enough, got them together to breed. They bred successfully, produced some babies. Uh, babies uh, are out and about in the world uh, with other people. I've got seven more eggs in the, in the oven, so to speak. Hopefully they'll be uh, hatching pretty soon. So we're going to temporarily put them in here. Uh, so 
I'll take that off the cage and, uh, and prepare everything uh, to shoot her in that cage. Uh, there's a trap box in there because, like I said, this is just temporary quarters. I hope to move them to a larger permanent quarters uh, uh, somewhere down the road in the next several days. So, but for now, uh, this is the game that we play. Hello, little big girl. Hello, big girl. I know you guys can't see her, but I can certainly eyeball her. Come on. Come on. You're okay. You're okay. There we go. Go ahead. Look, I don't care if it smells like pop out or you're going in there. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. See, we don't like drama with big venomous snakes like that. Because drama usually means that I'm wetting my pants and going off with Captain Morgan. Come on, dude. Come on. You're a beauty. Come on. There you go. There's Mama. I know she's just thrilled to see you because you try to screw the hell out of her all the time. There's a trap. There's a there's a place for you to hide. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's a hole. There you go. Almost got it. You don't seem to have a problem finding a hole with her, do you? You can't find a freaking trap box hole which is three inches wide though. Come on. There we go. Taipan Allocage. All nice and safe. I'll put that in there nice and firmly so uh, those things don't accidentally open up. I know, I see you opening your mouth. I see, I see, yeah. When Taipans open their mouth, you just like, uh, I'm out of here sort of thing because uh, Taipans mean business. Hi dude. Don said they were, they were both very much pussycats, so I trust Don completely. Very few people in the world I can say that about, but I definitely trust Don. Okay, so they're safe. We'll just, uh, we'll just put the label up there. Like I said, this is just temporary quarters. I want to split them up so they're easier to deal with and easier to feed, and I want to give the girl a break. Screw her already. Leave her alone. Oh, well, this is a new location. We have to screw everywhere possible. All right. That's all. <laughs> 